everyone and welcome back to zoo crafting i am zookeeper siri and we are here in the world of zoodesia yes did we do that is right sunflower and we are actually still over here right where we left off by the big old maple fields the big maple tree fields that we just found because i couldn't help it i mean we have a little taste of exploration and now i just want to look around some more and i mean look there's wild packs of collies and it looks like there is a wild cheetah or leopard whichever we want it to be roaming over there and i thought you know what, Sunflower? You know what? Why not make today a little bit more of an exploration day? Because we are about to buckle down and work hard on uh, gathering up lots and lots of uh, materials so that we can build up our exhibits. We're going to be doing the woodpecker exhibit and breeding dinosaurs. We're going to be trying to help out to revive some of the uh, animals who have died, like Tarzan the pig, and bring him back. Because what better time to bring him back than Halloween, Sunflower? Hmm? Hmm? So we're gonna be doing a lot of work at the zoo soon. And I just, I mean, look at this, look at this. Okay, Sunflower, you stay right here. Look at this, there's little packs of wild collies. Aren't they so cute? You just wait, I hear there is a new place called Twinbark Town where I will be able to gather up these collies and send them to them so that they can find good homes for these puppies. So that's definitely something that's gonna be happening soon. Um, also, so you know, I just, I wanted to do a little bit more exploring today and I hope you guys can forgive that because oh, this world is just so amazing. All right, so we have gathered up all of the different maple tree saplings that we wanted. I'm so happy that we managed to find so many, too. I really want a lot more of these orange trees as well. So I'm going to put those away. We have our magpie with the hurt wing, who we're definitely going to be taking care of this week. It would actually be really fun. I don't know where magpies are native to, so it would be really fun to learn about where magpies are native to. Maybe build it a little exhibit. It doesn't need to be huge, just a small little aviary. I hear that this guy can be taught to bring us iron and gold too i might have to ask a certain a certain mod creator who may or may not be roaming around we'll have to see what happens um all right let me see puppies puppies all right oh that's right i was gathering up the moonstone because we want to take all of this is this moonstone ah it's jasper dang it I looked at it and I was like, oh, it's this moonstone. We can take it to win. No, it's Jasper. Darn bucket. Well, that's okay. All right. Hello, sheep sheep. Let's gather up this salt. Oh, and some bones. Now these would make some good toys for some puppies. Uh, or maybe the like wolf pups. Oh, and here's some fossils. Man, it's just nice to be out in the fresh open air. And there's beautiful bluebirds. Oh, this is this is just a very pretty area. Oh, and look at this. You know what, this is a very pretty ore too. It kind of reminds me of Anasia's little canyon that she's building. She has an entire chasm that she has taken over and she's retrofitting to be where she's going to put her animal exhibits. And it looks amazing. In fact, we should probably go over there. Maybe we'll ask Anasia if we can have a little tour over there sometime soon. All right, let me go ahead. Ooh, look at all these pretty ores. You know, why not? Why not spend a little bit of time gathering them up? All right, I'm going to put this back. Um, let's see. What else is out here? Hello, sheep sheep. How are you? I feel like this feels familiar too. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tigers! More tiger species! Oh, Mr. Sheep. Once we start building more in the Asian forest exhibits, we are definitely going to be adding in lots of tiger species. See, and look how many collies there are! There's just packs and packs of wild collies roaming around here. So... We're going to have to really, like, start collecting them, and maybe we can find homes for all of these collie puppies. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a goat. Oh, and look, there's some venomous snakes over there. Two venomous snakes. Oh, that makes me want to build the snake exhibit again. Oh, just imagine if we could have copperheads and... Oh, man. So the venomous snakes in my area would be copperheads. Ooh, and this, these are pretty. Alpine thistles, huh? Well, don't mind me. I'm just going to collect up a few of them. Little specimen samples. But, like, those look kind of like um, a cobra and a king, or not a king snake, but the coral snake, which are both venomous types of snakes. And the venomous snakes in my area would actually be the copperhead and the water moccasin. Um, there's also the timber rattlesnake, which is huge! Oh my gosh, is that thing ever big? I saw a timber rattlesnake at the north. Ooh, this is pretty. 
the North Carolina Natural History Museum, and it was gigantic. I couldn't believe how big it was. No, get away, Mr. Goat. This is mine. It's Onyx Ore. Dang it. I keep thinking I'm I'm seeing these awesome ores that I could give to Win, and that's why I keep poking at them. And it turns out they're not anything like that. Oh, and there's another little mouse. You know, I did want to have some mice for the Temperate Forest exhibit, so let's see if I can go ahead and snag that mouse. The tricky thing with mice is that you have to catch them with the Safari Net Launcher. Oops, I missed him. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, pick that up quickly before a goat sees it. You have to catch mice with the Safari Net Launcher. Oh, there's two mice! I want both the little mice! Because we can have a cute little Temperate Forest exhibit with them. Alright, hang in there, guys. Ah, take aim fire! Oh, I got one! Alright, quick, gather it up before... Come on, pick it up before the goats see it. Do you go down here? Nope. Oh, stalking in the grass for mice. There he is! Wild mice! Oh, there's more! Oh my goodness, I've never seen so many mice before. No, back off, Mr. Goat! Oh, phew. Phew. I'm not having any of this nonsense. Here, you go way over here, please. You go be a happy goat down there. Alright, now where'd those mice go? Oh, there's another one. Alright, got it. Oh, this is so exciting. I really haven't ever seen so many mice in one place. Some player probably thinks I'm nuts running around collecting mice. But they're very important parts of the ecosystem. Very important parts of... Dun 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 dun. Did I get you? Got you. Alright. Mice are prey items that are kind of at the bottom of your ecosystem. And it's very important to have a nice, healthy, balanced ecosystem. So I'm going to gather these up. And if we have the owls, for example, or uh, some of the other big birds, then we need something for them to eat. And often that is mice. All right, so there's some chocobo feathers. I thought that was sunflower and I just about ran up to it. Another wild collie. Um, I don't see any black horses. Hello, sheep sheep. Man, there's a lot over here. <gasps> Look, there's more alpine thistles and another collie. What is up with all these collie puppies? Hi, bubbly. Sunflower is way over there. So let's go get her really quickly to keep her a little bit closer. Oh, look at these pretty things. What are you? This is a yellow bellflower. Ooh, I feel like we're getting kind of like a sampling of mountain plants. This is cool. All right, Sunflower, let's get a little bit closer to your wild cousins over here. I wouldn't mind having a chocobo racing area. I still need to work on that so we can race with everyone else. And this is actually a good place for fossils too. So like I said, I'm sorry, it's just, it's so exciting to explore the area. I just get so like thrilled about being able to look at things and gather things up. Look at this ore. I don't recognize this ore. Ooh, and it has fossils hiding under it. Oh, this is just so fun. Maybe I should have like a nice little day in the future where I could just bring Darling and Primrose and Bluebell and I could go a little bit, like do a little bit of fossil hunting and have a picnic with them. That would be so nice. Just a little family outing in the fossil fields. Typical for a biologist family, if you ask me. All right, so let's just gather these up. Some little fossil finds. They could turn into, they could turn into dinosaurs. They could turn into really cool prehistoric plants. They could turn into artifacts, who knows? Man, this area is actually quite rich in fossils. This is fun. All right, let's gather these up. Don't worry, Sunflower. I see that night is coming. We will snoo soon. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Yes, wonderful. All right, any more up here? Look at this, look at this snow. I live in a jungle. I live in like a tropical jungle. So when I see snow like this, it's quite exciting. It's very unusual. All right, so let me go ahead and see. No! I don't have a bed! Darn! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to make a bed really quickly now. Okay, birchwood planks. Uh, I'm gonna need more birchwood planks. At least I have some wool, which was actually from the unfortunate happenstance of some of the wild dogs actually killing off some of the sheep. Alright, there we go. A little bed. There we go. Alright, and snooze time, please. Oh, there we go. Alright. You know, I'm not too worried though. We're fully armored. We have good gear. I don't feel I don't feel unsafe in our world of Zudesia, that is for sure. Unless we go to the graveyards, then I don't feel so safe. Alright, so Sunflower I'll be down in just a moment. Little wild jaunt collecting wow, that's a lot of fossils. Alright, and we have some new plant samples, some alpine thistles. I'm still so excited about that aloe vera we snagged. Alright, put these away, put these away. And we'll continue on. So, oop, there is some more fossils over here. 
and some more salt, which we need for cooking. But yeah, once we get home, like I said, we are going to be dedicating ourselves to expanding the zoo. It is coming up pretty soon on two whole years, you guys. Two whole years of these kinds of really awesome, fun adventures. Two whole years, Sunflower, of building up our zoo. So I definitely want to make sure we at least get the zoo entrance done. Maybe have that, that gala that we were talking about. It should be a lot of fun. All right, there we go. But it also means getting things done, Sunflower. What's this? It's very pretty. What are you? Selenite ore, which can be used to do what? Apparently nothing. You're just for pretty? Well, we could put it in as decoration to the... Oh, Sunflower, your tail feathers are right in my face there. What an attractive view. Uh, but we could probably use it to decorate some of the... Oh, those are pretty. Let's go get some of those. Some of the cave exhibits that we have coming up. Whoops. Whoa, Sunflower. Man, you're a little bit quick today. Oh, and, and a raccoon! I'll have to remember that raccoon is here. And there's a whole bunch of snakes. Little mountain snakes. That's interesting. There we go. Ah, oh, house leeks! They're so cute! So cute! More mountain plants. Alright, come here, sunflower. Goodness, there were a lot of animals hiding down here. A lot of raccoons. So we'll have to remember that the raccoons are here as well. Because those would make awesome temperate forest. Oh, there go the chickens. So sorry, little chickens. But yeah, the raccoons would make awesome temperate forest additions as well. Sunflower, are you not feeling like flying today? I'm getting that impression. Pretty darn strongly. Is that because there's a- there's like so many- these, this is Collie Mountains. I dub this place Collie Mountains because there are just so many Collies here. We will have to find them some new homes in the future, that's for sure. Alright. In fact, I do think I'll start collecting the collies and sending them to Twin Bark Town, where they can go to the Animal Sanctuary, which is our new series, in case you guys haven't seen it. Sunflower, you really aren't feeling like flying today, are you? You feel like, just like, puddle jumping, huh? Well, let's land down here and maybe you can just run from here. But yeah, it's our new series and you guys can watch it and see how we adopt out some of the really awesome animals that are there a lot of your domestic animals which are not like the bear and the cougar that we just almost landed on top of darn and that's not a black horse but it's a very attractive horse um let's see there's some pigs there's some cows there's more horses there's an elephant there's an int who appears to have gotten himself stuck in his own little grove of trees maybe that's what he wants easy there sunflower there you go there you go. We'll take it nice and easy. <gasps> What's that? I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, this is so exciting, Sunflower. It's a new plant. I'm going to sneak in here very cautiously. What are you? What are you? Hmm? What is this thing? Oh, oh. <gasps> An almond tree? I didn't even know we had these. What? I love almonds. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, this is so exciting! This is so exciting! I have an almond tree! Oh, we have almonds. I'm gonna make it into an almond tree. This is gonna be great. <gasps> is this a wild cinnamon tree? No way! This sacred sapling grove had so many amazing things hiding in it. It really did. Oh goodness, is that a bug flying? There is a bug flying right in my ear. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, and there's more aloe vera up here. <gasps> Mr. Cow, thank you! I'm only going to take a couple, I promise. Oh, this is fantastic. How fun! I mean, we've flown over this sacred sapling grove so many times, and yet just we we're able to pop over here. I almost tried jumping on that wild chocobo, too. I was like, there's some flower. Nope, she's right here. But yeah, I've been flying over here so many times, and I had no idea that there were such yummy, delicious things hiding here. That is fantastic. All right, what's over there? Whoops. Up you go, sunflower. Some lady slippers plants. What's down there? Okay, there's something down here too. <gasps> Are those cashews? Oh my goodness. Sunflower, why have I not been harvesting the plants in here? These are cashews. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. All right. And are there any? Nope. No. None of that uh, cinnamon is ready to harvest. I think this is the area we were thinking about bringing Bob, uh, like planting a tree or a sacred sapling up in a hill. Um, the sheep have clearly taken over the area. They're ruling over the goats here, making sure the goats know their place. Oh, I love exploring our world. It's just so much fun because you don't know what you're going to find. Uh, it's so fun, Sunflower. It's so fun. 
all these new animals and new ways that they're living and oh, it's just exciting. All right, so let's go ahead. Since you are not feeling the happiest to fly today, we will go ahead and just run walk for a little bit and kind of see what we see. There's some ducks, another mouse. I want to catch that mouse. Today is like mouse catching day. And there's a duck, let's see. Looks like I've only got a couple safari nuts left. I've got a few. All right, and I've got some cashews. Oh, this is so exciting. I found so many rare plants this time around. All right, did I get him? No. Ah. Come here, come here, buddy. All right, throwing safari nuts around. They're really hard to catch because of the grasses. I see you. Oh, and I heard another one. What am I going to do with all these mice? This is so cool. Oh, there's another wild mouse. That's what I want. Eh. Did I get him? Nope. Oh my gosh, there's so many! I've really... I don't think I've ever noticed so many mice before. But this is fantastic, you guys. We're going to have prey items for days. This is going to be good. Speaking of prey items, there's a bunny. Who would also count? No, come back here. Alright, did I get him? Nope. I don't think I got him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did get him. Yes. Alright, and now I need you... Hold still, Mr. Mouse. I think I have exactly one safari net left, and it's got your name on it. Oh my gosh! Mice everywhere! Siri the Mouse Hunter! No, come back here! Hold still! Alright, I gotta... Eh. Did I get you? Nope. What about now? Oh, oh, oh. Nope, didn't get him. Alright, where'd he go? Oh. Nope, there you go. Oh, he's cute! Oh, I want him! I need to get him! Okay, hold still! This is so hard! All right, let's see if I can corner him. And I don't think I, I think I lost a safari net. Oh, there it is, thank goodness. All right, Sunflower is probably laughing so hard at me. I'm running through the fields. No, Mr. Cheetah! It's my mouse! Running through the fields trying to chase down this mouse. Oh my goodness, and we're just gonna run past the cheetah. Oh no, there's a, there's a chocobo! A wild chocobo, it's gonna get hurt. Hang on. Okay, there you go, buddy. I know, you don't wanna go on that stuff. That's really nasty stuff, it can make you sick. Oh, there it is again. Oh, come here, little mouse. Oh. oh, I missed him. He's so fast. Just as I think I can get him. All right, where'd he go? There he is. Oh. Mm. Darn it. <laughs> no, I can't miss you now. Oh, I got him, finally. Okay, so we have found a lot of mice. Perfect, 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 perfect. We'll be able to make a really good exhibit, and really, with this many mice, I bet they're going to start breeding in no time, so we, pardon me, Mr. Cheetah. So we probably have a viable population of mice now, which is so exciting! Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry! Okay, I'm going to snack on a sandwich. That worked up a good appetite, chasing mice down. And poor Sunflower is way over there like, Mom? Hello? Alright, Sunflower, I'm coming back! I probably, whoops, and there's a bra a, bra bleh, a black bear. Oh, 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 oh. Just one more mouse, just one more mouse. Why did I overshoot that? Okay, come on. And... Did I get you? Oh, you sneaky thing! You sneaky thing! Alright, where'd you go? Did I get him? Oh my gosh! This is, this is, this is a good challenge. Oh, I know, we need to probably, like, have lab mace, uh, lab mouse escaping day one day with our friends. Be like, can you catch him? Okay. You continue to be wild for another day, little mouse, as you have eluded me. All right, well that was enough excitement. I don't need to, I don't need to continue chasing mice, but that was pretty fun, and we actually found so many plants that we needed. We're gonna be able to cook so many yummy things, sunflower, almonds, almonds, more cinnamon. We found more aloe vera and cashews, cashews. You can make so many good things out of cashews. My favorite vegan uh, mac and cheese is actually made with cashews and butternut squash. So, huh. All right, well, that was a nice little side jaunt. All right, so I'm going to get back on Sunflower now and head home, and I will meet you guys there where we are going to start cracking down on the serious business of studying woodpeckers and building a new maple forest extension in our temperate forest exhibit. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.